Welcome to our lecture online. In this video we have two examples, two equations, equations with rational expressions, where we have to solve for a particular variable. So on here we have to solve this equation for Q, here we have to solve this equation for R. Now there's a couple of techniques that we can use, but first of all what I'd like to do is circle the variable that I'm solving for. That makes it easier to take a look at this. Secondly, we could use the technique where we multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, or we can use what we call the cross multiplication method. Again, if we have, for example, two fractions A over B equals C over D, we can move any factor across the diagonal. So we'll use both methods to see what that looks like. So first of all, let's go ahead and recognize that the lowest common denominator here is r squared. So we're going to multiply both the left and the right side of the equation by the lowest common denominator. If we do that on the left side, we get f times r squared. On the right side, the r squares cancel out, and we're left with kqp. Remember, we're looking for q, so I'm going to move the equation around. Move this to the left, move that to the right, simply flop it over. So we have k, p, q, and I'm going to rearrange the, the variables, equals f times r squared. And then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the co coefficients of q, which is k times p, k times p. This cancels this, and we're left with q is equal to f r squared divided by k times p, and that's the way we get the desired variable. Over here, we can do the same thing. We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is r. So here what we end up is, we end up with p times r equals v squared, because here the r's cancel out. And then I divide both sides by the coefficient. Uh, actually, <laughs> I have to keep track of which variable I was trying to solve for. I'm trying to solve for r, so I'm going to divide both sides by p. The p's cancel out, and I'm left with r is equal to v squared over p. So that's the standard method by which you could solve for a variable in such an equation. Of course, what we could have also done is said p equals v squared over r. And so you can think of this. Let me move this up a little bit. P as p over 1, I can move the r this way, and I can move the p this way, and so I can say that r is equal to v squared over p, so in one step, I can solve for r. Same over here, what we could have done is we could have said f is equal to k q p over r squared. Again, think of f over 1, move the r this way, move the k and the p this way, so we end up with f r squared divided by 1 times q times p, and we're left, oh, wait, wait a minute, nope, I don't want to move the q across. Again, I have to keep in mind what variable I'm solving for. I'm solving for q, I'm moving the, key and the, the k and the p across, so k times p, and that equals q. And again, in one step, we can solve for the variable. So again, I move the k and the p this way, the r squared that way, isolating the q, and that's probably the fastest and easiest way to solve for a variable when you have the equation in that form, and that is how it's done. 